The invention of the SpaceX cargo Starship wasn't just a daydream. With effective collaborations of ideas, labor force, and effort, the newly revealed cargo Starship by Elon Musk just became a successful masterpiece, and with no delay or doubt, it is ready to be launched. Could the Starship be a good or quality vehicle? What makes it unique, and what are its capabilities? There are quite a few positive aspects about this Starship that can be discussed all day long, but we aren't going to bore you with those formalities, so make sure to stick around and keep watching. So guess you wouldn't be surprised that Elon Musk, the new cargo Starship is a super heavy booster, and Starship spacecraft is a fully reusable rocket manufactured out of stainless steel. It contains liquid oxygen and liquid methane. The Starship has a tanker variant that's capable of refueling other Starships in orbit, maximizing and raising its 100 tons, 220,000 pounds, movement range to orbits with top energy, and the place designated for the spacecraft to stop, or its terminus, which also includes the Moon and Mars. What makes it unique and special? The spacecraft is manufactured for transport, but the spacecraft can also be a fully reusable orbital rocket, aiming at a drastic reduction in launch costs. A single launch is capable of delivering more than 100 tons, or 220,000 pounds, to low Earth orbit, which would previously categorize the rocket as a super heavyweight launch vehicle. When arranged in a stack and fueled, the Starship may be about 5,000 tons, or 11 million pounds, by mass, 9 meters or 30 feet wide, and 120 meters or 390 feet high. It is taller than the Saturn V by 9 meters, 30 feet. As we all know, the rocket will consist of the usual launching process, a super heavy first stage or booster, and a Starship second stage of spacecraft. It is powered and hopped up by numerous Raptor and Raptor vacuum engines. As a result of the rocket's reusability and stainless steel construction, it also affected other rockets positively, such as the Project Jarvis and Terran R. In addition, there are four significant terms necessary for Elon Musk to add the Starship to perfect it. According to Musk, SpaceX needs to add the final shield tiles to the spacecraft, add thermal protection to the Raptor rocket engines in the booster, finalize the work on ground propellant storage tanks, and then add a quick disconnect arm link to the top of the recently built launch tower. The essence of the quick disconnect arm is that it connects power and fuel lines to the rocket before launch. Amazing, right? Three reasons why the cargo Starship is a good and quality spacecraft. 1. Low launch costs. It is quite difficult and has an immoderate potential to cost organization millions of dollars. The majority of the so-called cost is a result of the consumable and replaceable nature of the transporters essential to speed up or accelerate the satellite to orbital velocity. The reusable version of the Falcon Heavy also cost a record-setting $90 million. The Falcon Heavy is well capable of lifting 64 tons of payload into low Earth orbit in the fully replaceable version for $150 million. According to Elon Musk, the Starship should have a launch cost of about $2 million, depending when it becomes active or operational in the next decades. He also mentioned that half of the expenses and cost of the launch are set aside specifically for fuel. Unlike the industry player, Ariana 5 usually amounts to a cost of $137 million, or about $68 million for each satellite. Being fully aware that the booster is unable and incapable of lifting two large spacecraft to a goal and at once, the Delta IV Heavy rocket tips the cost and expense scale at about half of a billion dollars of each launch. 2. In-orbit spacecraft servicing. The spacecraft has been dormant for some time now. It's been nine years since the spacecraft flew for the last time. A few scientific Americans put the cost of a single spacecraft launched at $1.5 billion, or $27,000 per pound. Out of the five spacecraft that were built, two were destroyed. The spacecraft did interrupt space, and was thrown into disorder by making available the capacity for in-orbit spacecraft servicing. It is also famous for fixing the Hubble's telescope flaws after its launch. With spacecraft withdrawal and retirement, the industry is already making an effort to provide and maintain in-orbit servicing. 3. Hypersonic Cargo Transport Presently, there is a lot of value obtained in transporting your goods. Judging from the United States Parcel Service UPS, in 2018, which was worth about $71.8 billion, and Federal Express, FedEx, in 2019, valued at $69.69 .69 billion. Elon Musk promised to interrupt and disrupt international and global flights by moving and transporting people globally around the world. He stated that this will be possible in the next decade if, by chance, the Starship resumes or achieves operational activities and capacity. Even with tangible and sensible limitations, the Starship is capable of making serious advancements or progress in global transportation by moving cargo across the seas or oceans on suborbital flights. Valuable goods and products with high values are capable of being delivered to coastal cities in just a few minutes instead of long hours. After that, 
the existing transport channels or network could deliver the products or goods to the required destination. The Starship can also be very profitable and money-making for the military, due to the availability of a program or platform for weapons, i.e. a guided bomb to be deployed from orbit on short notice or notification. The Starship is capable of entering Mars's atmosphere at 7.5 kilometers per second and losing velocity, moving more slowly and smoothly or sleekly. The spacecraft heat shield is made to resist or hold out multiple entries, but being that the spacecraft approaching Mars' atmosphere is intensely hot, it is only natural to see some cutting out or extirpation of the heat shield. Taken together, the solid and large combined launch system amounts to nearly 400 feet tall, i.e. around 390 feet to be specific, and combined with the orbital launch stand on which it reposes or rests, the whole thing is about 475 feet high, which we can say is taller than the Great Pyramid of Giza. A number of the SpaceX Starship flight tests have been done. Prototypes of the upper stage of the SpaceX Starship have been in motion or moved about nine times. So far, the flown prototypes of Starships are Starhoppers, i.e. the SN5, SN6, SN8, SN9, SN10, SN11, and SN15. However, unlike previous launch vehicle and spacecraft designs, the upper stage of the Starship is planned and committed to serving as both a second stage to determine orbital velocity on launches from the Earth, and eventually as an on-orbit long-duration spacecraft in outer space after an unspecified period. It is not just designed to take people to Mars, but also into the solar system. What will Starship be used for? The Starship can be of great importance, especially for journeys over a long distance. The trips to Mars and back to Earth, which, when calculated, can take about 9 months each way. However, Musk is looking forward to setting up or establishing around 40 cabins in the payload area close to the front of the upper stage, and each one could have a possibility of accommodating 5 or 6 people per cabin, depending on if one wants to be crowded and filled up. On the other hand, it's expected to see only about 2 or 3 people in each cabin, which means that, on normal grounds, we should see 100 people per flight to Mars. The payload base would also host the common areas, storage space, a gallery, and a shelter where individuals could surround each other or gather around to shield themselves from solar storms, where the sun emits or passes off harmful and dangerous charged particles into space. Wow, amazing right? The Starship's highly efficient Raptor engines have undergone development. The combustion takes place in different stages, and towards the middle of the vehicle are the propellant tanks, which work efficiently with the help of liquid methane, CH4, and liquid oxygen, O2, to the Raptors. Methane, as we know, is the fuel, and oxygen that acts as an oxidizer. The rocket engines have an unusual choice of fuel, but the availability of methane can generate numerous thrusts. Refueling starships for the return trip to Earth with Martian resources would most likely present a level of independence or self-direction, resulting in trips and journeys becoming more capable of being done with whatever means are available, which is also cost-effective. The starship is a game-changer for space travel. As we all know, it is most likely going to be a fully reusable transport system, having the capacity and competence to carry about 100 people or more to Mars. Being aware of this means, the system is designed to be rapidly reusable, and the principal hardware elements are not unwanted or thrown away in the sea, and allowed to burn up, like most issues that happen with other spacecraft. The Starship can be refilled with propellant, and be ready to launch again within a short period of time. This reduces costs for the industry and organization. Isn't all this just astounding? What do you think makes Elon Musk's cargo ship an amazing vehicle, with all these crazy qualities? How do you think the cargo starship could be of more importance to SpaceX and its customers? Drop your ideas and suggestions in the comments section.